What was it like going back in and doing the voice work and reliving some of those moments? Uh, it was one of the most fun things I've done. Uh, there's a, uh, a great moment, and I'm pleased that they're going with great moments and not just great matches, because some the, sometimes those get excluded. Uh, for example, I get to recreate the night uh, that uh, uh, Cactus Jack made his WWE debut in Madison, at Madison Square Garden in 1997 by way of an interview that uh, Dude Love did with Mankind. And people at home, oh, Dude Love, Mankind, they're the same guy. It was a green screen, a lot of patience, uh, a great director, and when we went on the air at the Garden, it looked to people there that Dude Love was interviewing Mankind to introduce Cactus Jack. It was just great, and then Cactus Jack went and tore it down with Triple H at the Garden. Uh, so 15 years after the fact, to be able to recreate that was, uh, very, uh, it was fun and gratifying. A lot of the gamers that are out there today, they're young kids, they didn't maybe experience this firsthand. What role do you see this game playing historically of educating people about the history? Well, I think WWE's done a great job for the last eight or ten years of reintroducing uh, and acknowledging the guys who paved the way so that um, it's it's very seldom that I'll, I'll sh you know show up where a kid is uh, eight or older and they won't be aware of something I've done. Uh, as a matter of fact, Almost every day I get asked about a certain match called Hell in a Cell, which took place in uh, 1998 before a lot of the kids who asked the questions were actually born. So thanks to action figures and uh, video games and YouTube, the, the uh, younger generation is familiar. But I think, uh, I think the current guys are gonna have a, you know, they're gonna have their hands full. These people are like, I want more of these guys. And then uh, when they bring us out on the show, we're old and gray and they're, okay. Let me just stick to the video game, but uh, it's nice. People, they, they acknowledge us and they seem to appreciate us. What was it like living through that? Did you guys realize exactly how big of an impact you were having at the time? You know, we couldn't really appreciate the history we were making because we were too busy making it, you know? Uh, and everything was going at light speed, you know? You didn't really have time to reflect. If you sat back and reflected on everything you were accomplishing, uh, you really weren't doing your job. So it's only years later you can sit back and say, wow, you know, I'm in a, I'm in a video game that kids, you know, are going to be, kids who weren't even alive when I was making that history will be recreating. What's it like now seeing these kinds of uh, matches virtually and knowing that you can inflict pain on your virtual self and not worry about your real body? You can work out some, uh, some very deep psychological issues uh, without actually injuring yourself, you know. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's great. And uh, I made a joke a little earlier about uh, the, uh, the royalty check that comes in. Uh, that's no joke. I mean, that's no joke. That's the, be the best product to be on in WWE is that video game because they're so popular. You know, I, I, like the Mankind Yo-Yo, quite frankly, did not sell that well in 1999. Uh, there were some Stone Cold Steve Austin condoms that I have to believe were not big sellers. Uh, but this, you know, this is what people want, and uh, it shows. Now, now, do you have a, a favorite match that people will be able to play in this game from you historically? Well, I just saw one um, uh, that I did not, was not even aware was available. It's uh, Mind Games from 1997, which is actually kind of like a harbinger of things to come in the Attitude Era. It was like pre just cutting edge pre-Attitude Era. I believe that was one month before Mr. McMahon had the speech with us about how things had changed if we were going to, uh, you know, survive, let alone excel, that we were going to have to bring more of ourselves into the character. So, for example, Mankind became more like me. Uh, you know, I started bringing more of myself into that character. Uh, guys who just months earlier had been thought to be dead in the water, like uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock, suddenly not only resurfaced, I'm sticking to this water metaphor, but uh, you know, just exploded out of the waves of tranquility to overtake the WWE Universe by storm. They did a great job, and, uh, and it was only because they were, they were given the chance in a way that guys, you know, previously, uh, you know, ha had not to really the chance to be themselves, turn up that amplifier a little bit, but you know, let people see uh, a big part of themselves on screen.